Hello my friends, and welcome to Awesome Sauce News. Today I'll be reviewing this mechanical gaming keyboard from Rosewill. This is their RK9100, and uh, this particular model that I have with me here today features the Cherry MX blue switches. You can also get this keyboard in a different model that features Cherry MX brown switches, but uh, I will be comparing the two of those momentarily in this video. So uh, I also want to point out that at least at the time of filming this video, this keyboard has been sold out on Newegg for a very long time. And I just checked today, and it's back in stock. Oh yeah! So I figured it would be an appropriate time to do a review on this board. So uh, with that said, let's take a closer look. All right, so upon opening up the box, you will find your user's manual and the keyboard itself, of course. And I believe that's it. Yeah, and honestly, there's not much else you really need with the keyboard these days, other than a little documentation, perhaps. But here it is. Hua! Worst unveiling ever. There's the keyboard in all of its glory. Um, here's a six foot, more or less a six foot braided cable for your keyboard. And uh, six foot, six feet is kind of long for, for a keyboard in my opinion, but Rosewell has added a nice Velcro strap for you to manage that excess cable. You can see here we've got two gold-plated USB connectors, and you're wondering, why, Kyle? Why are there two? And I'm sure many of you already know the answer. There's actually a USB 2.0 hub right here. You can plug in whatever USB-enabled device you your heart desires, whether it be a mouse or a flash drive or an external hard drive. It's kind of a nifty feature to have, actually. Um, the uh, USB cable itself, the braided cable, is actually permanently attached to the keyboard, and I would have liked to see it been able to unattach because uh, honestly, the keyboard that I'm using now can detach, and it's really nice. I've gotten used to just detaching my keyboard without having to mess around with the wires uh, at the back of my system. So that's one feature I wish Rosal would have included, but not a huge deal breaker by any means. Uh, aside from that, let's take a look at the back. Back, back, back. Uh, you can see we have four rubber accents, very small rubber feet, and uh, it's just to prevent your keyboard from slip and sliding around on your desk when you're using it. And then you have two feet that pop up just like that, and that'll actually elevate your keyboard ever so slightly, so it uh, provides a little bit more ergonomic feel for your wrists and your hands and stuff like that. And these are also rubber accents on the ends. Um, aside from that, uh, I don't know if I... Oh, I didn't mention this in the intro. I totally overlooked this. Um, this is actually an illuminated keyboard, so each of these keys are individually backlit with their very own LEDs, and uh, can't really tell here, so why don't I plug in and let's take a look at it all lit up. All right, boys and girls, here's the keyboard plugged in, powered up, in all of its LED backlit glory. And uh, I did want to also mention that the lock buttons, caps lock, scroll lock, and num lock, are lit up in green, whereas the rest of the keys light up in blue. And uh, I kind of wish that the lock buttons lit up in red. I feel like that might have matched a little bit better with the blue, but that's personal preference. And honestly, I usually don't have any of these keys enabled anyway, so I don't think it matters that much. Just a personal thought. And um, aside from that, this is a, a really nice frame here. It's it's actually kind of like a hard plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. This uh, keyboard actually does have some weight to it. And I do like how thin like the bezel and the frame of this keyboard is because uh, for people like me, I have a really small desk and a keyboard like this actually saves me a lot of room for like my mouse, for example, over there or whatever else, you know, whatever clutter that I want to put on my desk. So I do like how small this keyboard is in comparison to other mechanical keyboards I've seen. Aside from that, this keyboard does feature six key rollover, so I can actually hold down any six keys on this keyboard at a time. That was seven, actually. No, no, that was six. Six. Right there. And uh, all of them will activate. No problem. So if I'm, like, playing WoW, for example, you know, doing a crap ton of DPS, as long as I'm holding at least six keys or less down, I'm going to be just fine. The uh, keyboard also does feature eight multimedia shortcut keys up here with your, uh, your F buttons. So this is like your web browser, email, fast forward, rewind, play, pause, and volume control, down and up, or up and down, uh, and mute. And these four keys right here are actually your LED control area keys. So if you hold down function and press F9, that's actually your mode button. So you can go through the different modes. This is like your gaming mode. You've got WASD and your arrow keys. And you also have basically everything except for your 10 key number pad lit up. And the last mode that you can enable is just full-blown everything. And uh, the key next to that is your basically on and off switch. So if you're using this keyboard during the day, for example, there's really no need to have your LEDs on other than it looking kind of cool. Um, but you can turn them off completely with that button right there. And there are also four levels of brightness that you can use with this keyboard. So right now it's just as bright as it is. This is the maximum level of brightness. You can go down and down and down. Uh, so very nice features there. There's a Rosewell, Rosewell logo to your right 
And, oh yeah, the main feature of this keyboard, I want to save this for last, because it is, it is the best feature. Uh, Cherry MX Blue switches, all of these keys, even the 10 key number pad and the F buttons up top feature Cherry MX Blue switches. They're rather clicky, if you can hear that. And they're, uh, some would say they're a little bit noisy, depends on uh, how fast of a typer you are or how, how much pressure you like to put down on your keys, but it is rather clicky and it does have a high pitch sound to it. Um, I personally don't mind it at all. Some people hate it, some people love it. Uh, I personally use a Cherry MX brown switch board at home and hey, I'm home right now, so why don't I pull out that board and we can compare the sound between the two. All right, so since I have my Cherry MX brown switch board in the back there, I'm gonna make a quick comparison between the different key press properties uh, of Cherry MX blue and Cherry MX brown switches. So first taking a look at the RK9100 here uh, with the Cherry MX blues, just to uh, see what happens when I press down the key. All right, did you hear that click? Well, I also felt a little bit of resistance on my finger there. I uh, felt a little bump, and that basically is the activation point of, of any of these keys on, with the Cherry MX blues. And I can continue going down quite a bit further. So here it is again activation point with the click and bump and I can continue going down so uh, that's really nice because it activates pretty much halfway down you don't have to press it all the way down to make contact like you do with the older membrane keyboards and I think that's one of the benefits of mechanical uh, keyboards is that you don't have to apply so much pressure to activate those keys so it's especially nice if you're gaming or typing for long periods of time you're not going to get as fatigued uh, with, with mechanical keys because of that early activation point. Uh, the other thing I want to mention about Cherry MX Blue switches is that they have a very fast release time. So after you're done pressing it, they snap back into place very rapidly. And that's good because you can just kind of tap as fast as you can and it's going to keep up with you. It's going to reach back at your finger. It's going to follow your finger pretty much right behind it the entire time. And uh, the main benefit of that is for, for gamers, I'd like to say, just because a lot of gamers have to like press keys rapidly and you never want any redundant key presses or redundant keystrokes when you're gaming. Uh, that could be the difference between life and death. So uh, that is one of the main benefits of Cherry MX Blues that you see it very commonly with a lot of hardcore gamers. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to compare the Cherry MX Blues with the Cherry MX Browns. So we can see some differences here find out which keyboard is right for you. And uh, so here with the same control button here, I'm gonna press it down. Oh, let me do that again. So right there, I felt the bump. I felt the bump, I, fe I feel the resistance, but notice there was no click, it's absolutely silent. I'll do it again. Just totally silent. So that is one main difference between Cherimix Blues and Browns, that there is no uh, click to indicate that you've hit the activation point with Cherimix Browns, only the bump. And uh, the other thing, the other difference, is that the uh, release time for Cherry MX Browns is not quite as rapid as with Cherry MX Blues. And uh, you notice it's, it's a, it feels a little bit more mushy, for lack of a better term, than the Cherry MX Blues, which feel very uh, snappy and responsive. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, uh, because a lot of people prefer the Cherry MX Browns for typing, because you're not necessarily going to need that quick response when you're typing uh, you know, 70 words a minute or whatever. Um, but uh, I, I, I personally feel like Cherry Mix Browns are a happy medium between gaming and typing, whereas uh, Cherry Mix Blues, I'd probably opt for that type of switch if I were strictly just gaming. So, there you have it. All right, me lovely lads, that is gonna wrap it up for this review on this mechanical gaming keyboard from Rosewill. Once again, this is their RK9100 in Cherry MX Blue switches. Also available in Cherry MX Brown, if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, closing thoughts and words on this keyboard, um, I do wish, once again, that there was a removable USB plug right here, uh, and I also do not completely agree with the blue and green color scheme of the LEDs here, but personal preference, of course. And uh, aside from that, I really do love the build quality of this thing. I think it's very sturdy, very durable, and I also love how small it is. Like, the frame and the bezel is so thin, I'm like, I love it. Uh, especially for a small desk like the one I'm using right now, uh, this is perfect for me. And honestly, I, I after using this board for a couple hours, I'm considering replacing my current board with one of these. Granted, I'd probably get the Cherry Mix Brown version of this, uh, and they didn't pay me to say that.
swear to God, I just, I, I really do like this board, and um, I have a new gift card lying around somewhere, uh, but I would recommend this board if you're looking for a gaming mechanical keyboard. So that said, thank you guys for watching this review. Let me know what you guys think of this board in the comment section below, or if you have it, if it's working out for you or not, uh, let me know. Send me a like, subscribe to Awesome Sauce News if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.